whose ceremony is performed in all cases once a year, generally in February, and consists in speaking of a, a spread a layer of live coals, seven or eight yards in length, and six inches uh, deep, over which uh, the head priest and eight other or nine other men are supposed to walk and dance for a considerable time without even singeing a hair of their legs or feet. While it's at the same time, the heat is so intense that a white man who once witnessed it could not approach within several feet of the fiery, fiery furnace. Some of the tribes in the Beja and Island in Fiji are doing that here exactly. And in Africa, many other people uh, do these ceremonies. How are you doing in your uh, physical and spiritual path if you measure that every day? Are you aging very fast? Is your understanding of yourself increasing, static, or deteriorating? Or you are becoming more confused or more enlightened? What obstacles are being imposed by the system in your path? And what are the schemes that you are using from within yourself to surmount uh, these obstacles? Do you know the power of attention which is worth dying for? What can you do to re-engineer spiritual development in your life? How can you get in touch and feel your ninefold soul? If possible, mental stimulation is the best. Without your culture, you are lost. Totem acknowledgement is a vital African identity power system. It is the oldest and original mental scheme that sustained our worldwide dominance for thousands and thousands of years. Here is what you need to know and must do. First, recognize in you the power of your totem and activate it daily using your mental powers and other ceremonies. Let's have a look at a vital power system for black people. Totems are still the best. Where is your totem? If you are an African and have no knowledge about your totem or totems, you are disconnected from fulfilling very critical identity needs. One, your true identity, since it must be connected to your real ancestry, is cut off. Therefore, you are an outcast to your racial memory bank. And more or, more or less, you are deceived, colonized, and enslaved. Two, you have no living connection to the natural ecology of the society of our black people. The reality is very tough. Lack of identity is more of spiritual death. Islam and Christianity as well as European skepticism do not give you your African identity, no matter what level of hierarchy you rise, but a psychological master in which your physicality and mentality is colonized. Perhaps you are now an atheist as a black person, black atheist, and you perhaps after debunking religion, Judaism, Christianity, or Islam, you have decided that there is nothing worth it to live for in terms of spiritual life. And this, again, is a Euro identity trap. It denies you your ability to retrieve your true identity tied to your ancestry via totems. More Africans are given new identities as Christians, as Muslims, as Hindus, as atheists. Identity gain should equal power in unity. But these religions divide us. Let's go back to the roots and the source of everything. African human spiritual development must take place by reconnecting mentally to the community of current living souls at totemic points, linking back to the original source. Totems are still the best to do that, which is called racial unity. Where is the source? Where life began is where the source is. The original pygmy was born in Central Africa and spread throughout this world over a million years ago. And the remnants of this race, the first race, are still found in Africa. They are the Bantus. They are still found all over the earth. They are the Negroes or Negritos. They are found in the forests of Bolivia, in South America, in New Guinea, in America, in the New Hebrides, in Solomon Islands the mountains of China, in the Philippine Islands, particularly North 
islands of Ruzani. And this is some of the people, the faces of the people found all over the earth. The Novels Hebrides found in Solomon Islands. And there, the Aspelago Nove of uh, Aspelago in the Philippines, the Tonga Islands. As explained by the Freemason and researcher Dr. Albert Churchward in his uh, book, Proof that the Nilotic Blacks were the founders of ancient Egypt, shown here, which you can get from Amazon or Lulu and, or any other reputable bookseller. He says that with the Pygmy religion, donned by the propitiation of elementary powers, propitiation of departed spirits, and their belief in a supreme being, the Pygmy and Nilotic Negro race, many of which are still existing today in Africa and other parts of the world, left Africa thousands of years ago, carrying with them the primitive knowledge of certain totemic rites as well as ceremonies. We are going to look at these uh, rites of power. This is the table and the graph of the structure proposed that the origins were pygmies and the Masaba Negroes and the Banati, the Banji, the Manyes, and then the Nairotic Negroes, which comprise every person of black ancestry. And there are two groups, those with no hero cult and those with hero cult according to these researchers and these doctors. With the hero cult, it means they access the divine power by bypassing totemic linkages, but connecting ancestrally directly right back to the creator. While it's having a hero cult means you have to go through totemic connection. The reason, the major reason being of the migration from the center of power as we were guided by these forces out into various places in Africa and on earth. We will consider three aspects on totems. Oboros, which is the symbol shown here in ancient Africa, in ancient Egypt, a snake biting its own tail is a symbol of not only eternity but also of divine self-sufficiency. Snake is a universal, almost complex symbol that was used worldwide, that's still recognized worldwide, as representing two great aspects that oppose each other within one. They are in your mental capacity and qualities. In tropical Africa, snakes are associated with the idea of immortality because they regularly change their skin i.e. their share of physical existence representing the body and the cycle of life it's clear that is a bantu ideology the snake's totem is all over the earth find yourself and connect via whatsapp in a group or any other social art platforms you remember and you must know that the nyami nyami is a snake found in the zambezi kasambabeza river nyami is the god worshipped in west africa so these people are connected and are linked, but it is because of the sovereign stupidity of the Berlin Conference that divided Africa into pieces of lands that are unrelated tribally. The other customs that is related with the totems has to do with the burial rituals. The burial customs, rites and ceremonies from the remotest time were founded in the faith that the departed still lived in the spirit. What about their totem? What happens to your totem when they are dead? It was a right that at that point, when burying that person, a symbol of their totem, or even their totem, or a part of their totem was buried with them, as well as items they had used in life, or dominant items they had used in life. You can see here the pots, the pans, the plates that he used in life were buried with him. This is an energy system that we have. It is also that today many Africans may deny the aspect of totems being buried with them, but they will allow a Christian cross to adorn their graves. Thus they are disconnecting themselves from the rite of passage ancestrally and they are being locked away as castaways. Many black people in ancient times were buried in a rebirth position. The corpse was bound up in the thrice bent position in the fatal likeness of the embryo in the uterus and placed in the earth as if it was a seed that was being purposefully planted for the third and final birth. So this is what we see here.
African ancestral religion is founded on the rising again of the human soul alive from the body, from dead matter. The body could not and never did come back or live again in any way or form, but the spirit that arose from this was or could be detected by seers like Amantos or those with such a spirit and abilities. Then the Beles, the Zulus, and other Ngunis bury their dead, used to bury them in the thrice bent position, as symbolically the rebirth in spirit that is shown here. So this has to do with the totems. We continue to look at some truths. Professor Maspero, in the dawn of civilization in his book, states that amongst the earliest mother alone, tribes, the ancient Egyptians, even in later times, had not forgotten the ties of common origin which linked them to their forefathers in the barbarous tribes found in the Great Lakes region. This is the book that you can and read. We see here a very beautiful Akan, Ozulu, Jola, Kosa, Masai, Musi, Yoruba, Shona, bride through the rite of passage. But what has happened is that Christians and religion has come and substituted the original African baptism as well as wedding by including what they call the hijab and also the wedding they call white wedding destroying our own culture to start a family many other tribes all over the earth this nines north america those of south america corresponding to them as a user sign and gesture language as do the aborigines of australia new guinea etc all of them used a gesture type of language or sign language. In all these classes, in Africa, Australia, New Guinea, North and South America, they had sacred customs, signs and symbols which were identical, like hand shaking, raising the hands to the four winds, or any other sign or crossing their own neck, crossing their own chest. They also had marriage laws and marriage taboos and food taboos which were similar. They had burial customs, which are similar. They had totems that corresponded to each other without any difference. We have seen the video that of the same tribes or firewalking activities. The Monfu of Africa and the Indians of Chaco, that enormous region of South America, who were removed from Andes, have the same mythological beliefs with almost many Africans. Tiko, the totem, a symbol of the creative power, the B2. Shown here, you can go to this website. The winged scarab represent awareness of head centered in heart activating the heart's torus energy field. So it also represents the skull and the two brains. So, so clear, straightforward. This is uh, all totemic. The Arawak and Bororo, Corrado, a higher type of Nilotic Negro, those are the higher type are the ones that have no totemic uh, taboos connecting to them, but have the direct, because they have not moved from the ethno place they, they grew up uh, out of, with totems and totemic ceremonies. Also, the hero cult and the mythology in South America, the monumental type, the Nautlan, uh, who are an offshoot of the Shoshones of North America, are Negro. They look like that. They came from that. The Huxian were the ancestors of the Mayas, Quiches, and Pocomouse, the present Indian inhabitants of Guatemala and Yucatan. So all of them came from the regions that we have spoken of. They have the same culture, which we have explained. Dr. Chechuat, Maspero, Chink, Anta Diop, all these doctors, all these researchers explained that and teaches that. So if you are black, what's your totem? How can you find your totem? You may wish to make totems, the connection point to your super ancestral divine identity or memory bank and be the best in anything that you do. You have you may need to study more about totems. We offer a booklet, There Are No Totemless Africans, which has thought provoking information. You can get this book from Amazon or you can request for a PDF and then you can study this and find your totem or activate your totems. You should have a minimum of two, not even one totem is worthwhile. So totems are still the best because they cause you to eat a rest-based diet. They give you a mental attitude of a winner. 
They cause you to know about exercises of your body. They also give you and set you solid, specific life goals. We have the best immune system because we followed these totems. If we avoid eating our totems, we will be having a very excellent immune system and health. We must drink spring water daily as well as changing and living a lifestyle that is based on our own race. So that we become fish in water, not fish out of water. In conclusion, therefore, totems are an African cultural driver. Perhaps one of the three spiritual softwares for every black person on earth. Totems give that which money cannot buy. Satisfy that empty void inside fulfills your wants, allows you the spiritual memories to tap into as you figure out how much of the euro based wealth and education you must acquire so that you can be able to leave an inheritance to your progeny. Totemic acknowledgement connects you with a worldwide family. It is something that is indescribable. It is more than personal identity, but it gives you that extraordinary imperious voltage awakening that is in our race as a race in whole and gives you this spring to life which we become and then we become instantly kings and queens and get hold of life and for friends and for enemies we triumph against all odds before they called us thugs we were kings queens alchemists master teachers keepers of sacred knowledge midwives, shamans, herbal, herbalists, and rulers and kings on the earth. Subscribe to our channel and rise up and receive Hamiti Hebrew Ethics. The new you is a totemic spirit that revives your life. This is Priest Rabbi, LM Dimitulu, and this is our email. Thank you. Goodbye.